Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to show you what I packed to go to Uganda to see the gorillas and the chimpanzees, what I wore and what I didn't wear. We left on the 12th of August and being that it's very hot here and cooler in Uganda, I thought I was going to be cold. <laughs> so I went prepared. I was fully dressed in Sweaty Betty, a waistcoat and a t-shirt and my Gary's, which are my favourite Sweaty Betty trousers, really lightweight, socks and my Converse. And of course, a good pair of knickers. <laughs> Those are also Sweaty Betty, amazingly. So nice comfy uh, knickers for the flight. It's nothing worse than uncomfortable knickers on a flight. So that was my travel gear. Put that to one side. Then, oh, I was also wearing a bra, and that is just a basic, uh, I think it's, it is, good old M&S, comfortable bra. I took my really big knickers by EB, so comfortable, to wear on safari, because, not because they're animal print, but because... Again, I didn't want any knicker issues. So I took four pairs of knickers, thinking we were only gonna be there for four days. That's another story. On safari, old combats. How many years have I had these for, David? Mm, as long as we've been married. 30 then. <laughs> so they are, they are well-worn, very comfortable. Uh, thick socks because you have to keep your ankles uh, covered uh, and trousers tucked into the socks so long socks are very important. My hiking boots which have been beautifully cleaned um, by the guy at the lodge. Uh, what else did I wear? I wore a long sleeve with thumb holes Oh, this actually is a Lululemon. And a waterproof. Now, this was too hot. Too hot to wear a waterproof, but you do have to take it with you. You do have to wear long sleeves. And I did actually take gloves, which I did try to wear but you can't use a camera when you're wearing gloves. So I had to take them off. So I would take them, but if you're the one in charge of the camera uh, or iPhone, then, then they just don't work. Ah, the things I didn't take, two pairs, another two pairs of socks. And I took um, a sort of a hat, um, again, Lululemon. Things you didn't wear? Those are the things I didn't wear. But you did take? I, sorry, yes. So I didn't wear these, but I did take them. But out of all of that packing, I think that's quite impressive that those are the only things I didn't wear. Moving on, I took some leggings for the evening. And um, they're sort of slick. They're also sweaty, betty, slick, shiny leggings. Another pair of knickers, sweaty betty, but a thong because you don't want a VPL even in Africa, in the jungle. I wore this polo neck because it did get pretty cold one evening and I might have worn that on top of it, which is just a sort of a wind cheater. Why? That one, oh, I think that's Lululemon. So I seem to be all Lululemon and sweaty betty, which, um, Means they're both excellent, I guess. Uh, what else did I take? Um, my one of my favourite t-shirts from Omanar, long sleeve t-shirt, uh, which I wore with my leggings one night. 
we got stuck. We got stuck in Entebbe. So we had this extra 24 hours. Luckily, I had a pair of shorts and this. I didn't even, I didn't know if I would use it or not, but it turned out to be the most excellent scarf to wear around my boobs. So by the pool, wrapped around, and it just worked out perfectly. So I was very lucky that I had those two. Uh, oh, hat. I wore a hat in the forest. Coming home. What did we do when we came home? Oh my gosh. We were on Fly Dubai, lovely Fly Dubai, who excelled. They don't do blankets or cushions. So I had this, which I can't even show you right now, this Catherine Robinson cashmere scarf. Mm, everything's been washed and it's delicious. And excuse me, <laughs> this big old sweatshirt. Again, I wasn't sure if I would wear it, but it makes a brilliant cushion. So that was my cushion. And this was my blanket. So I'm really pleased I took those. Coming home on the flight, uh, another sports bra that I had been wearing. Uh, we did a little bit of washing ourselves in the hotel room. And I didn't think things would dry, but actually they did. My Coca-Cola t-shirt, one of my favorites. <laughs> and back in my Gary's and my socks and my Uggs, which I had been wearing quite a lot on and off over the last few days. So that's my packing. I thought I'd round this video off with exactly what I wore when we went to see the chimpanzees and the gorillas. This is the outfit. These are boots by Le Chimeau. I've had these for probably 25 years. They come out every now and then and they are just as good when they come out as when they went into storage. Really worth the investment. Big old socks, like hockey socks. I've had these for a long time too. Definitely tuck your trousers in, whatever you do. There are ants out there, lots of ants. So these trousers, also proper military uh, combat trousers and the zip slips down. <laughs> um, I've had these also for 20 years. They're a little bit frayed in parts, but they were perfect for the job. Lululemon top, um, again, tight, so nothing could get up my arms. I took a hat. It was hot and sweaty work. But I did think, because I was told that the ants were coming out of the trees, that if I wore my hat like this, it would protect my neck. It really didn't. We still got bitten on our necks. They bite, they don't sting. They bite and then they go away. I took gloves, then realized that I couldn't use my mobile phone, couldn't record, so they didn't last very long. Um, and then a waterproof jacket which again, I've had this barber for I don't know how many years. It's a great lightweight jacket. That's it, that's what I wore. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed my video and that it helped you a little bit. And I hope you get to see gorillas and chimpanzees one day. Definitely, oh my word, a dream come true. See you again soon.